Good morning, Jermaine Robertson with AZ and Associates. Hey, I just wanted to come to you. I had some great news. There was a client I had met about, I would say three years ago. I had actually got her and her family, two daughters, into a rental home. At the time, she had no hope of really buying anything. Um, but she told me after we had got her into her, her place, she said, Jermaine, I'm going to be calling you back because I'm going to be an owner one day. Now, being in this business, you hear that a lot and, uh, you know, you give everybody the benefit of the doubt and you believe in what, what it is that they say. But ultimately, you leave them to their own devices and let them kind of work out what it is that they want to do. Well, lo and behold, this lady had been keeping me updated about every six months saying, Jermaine, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm increasing my credit score. I'm paying off some debt. I'm taking care of what I need to take care of. I should be ready to go soon. And guess what? She did do it. She did exactly what she said she would do. She held to what she said she was going to do. Three years ago, she's been fighting through that same exact struggle to get to a home ownership. Now, a couple days ago, it's go time. It's time to actually get her into a property. We're in a, we're in a very intense market. There's a lack of inventory. There's more buyers than sellers out there. So there's a lot of things going on in a specific price point. Now, she can only buy a home that was worth so much but this lady was determined to make this happen and what I failed to realize is that her determination overrode our bad market her determination overrode what was going on in our industry in spite of me telling her it's gonna be rough you might not get what you want she said it's okay it'll work out what I learned at that moment is that what she did was she willed herself to a position that ultimately took her to the top. I sat down with my wife and I had a discussion. I said, listen, sweetie, I said, this lady is being unreasonable. The market is just, it's, it's, it's a hard market. I can't get her the property she wants. And well, she wants what she wants, but you know, we're spending our wheels, wasting a lot of time looking at different homes. And at that point, we had only looked at two homes. And I was already giving up on this lady who had fought three years to come back into the situation. And this was the moment where I had to reflect and see that her will overrode my market. My wife says, Jermaine, this lady has fought to get in this position. You have to help her. You have to do everything you possibly can to help this lady possibly get her home. You have to give it your all. You have to fight for her. You have to do what you said. That's why she came to you. It got me to thinking, have I done everything that I can possibly do to get this lady where she needs to be? Have I done everything I possibly could do to get her family in a home in this market? And I'd come to the conclusion I hadn't. See, what I did was I relaxed, I took it easy, and I hoped that she would just take whatever was there and say, well, that's the market. Well, I learned a lesson dealing with this client. That when a client has a will to get something done, they're coming to me to find that way. And not only did I put in an offer that night on one home, I put in an offer on five homes. In a market where you, you're lucky if you even get in backup position in two or three tries. I'm happy to say that not only did we get the home that she wanted, but we also got two more accepted contracts. The moral of the story is, is that when you really want something and you're determined to get it, there's examples out there to show you that it's possible. And what I learned from this whole story is, is that as long as I try my hardest and I give it my best, I'll make things happen for you too. I'm happy for my client and I'm happy for the people that I can help. But this one is truly a story for the books. And I am thankful for people like her because she encourages me to keep pushing on. Have a wonderful day. I look forward to hearing from you.